Hello everyone, so before we start this pick a card today, I'm going to introduce you to a advent calendar that I have been working on and this is a crystal Christmas advent calendar. So we have a little sneak peek in the video now showing you some of the crystals that will be available in the crystal Christmas advent calendar. If you would like to get this advent calendar, there is 24 days of Christmas and you can purchase until the 1st of December. If there are any available and you want it, just a few days before Christmas, you are welcome to purchase if there are some available. So here is a sneak peek of some of the crystals. If you'd like to purchase, please check down below in the description box for my crystal shop. And yeah, let's get started with pick a card. everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card all about what your future self wants you to know so as you can see the angle is a little bit different today I am kind of on a whim um, I'm not filming in my normal location so it will be a little bit different but if you enjoy this then that's great I do like to do things a little bit differently sometimes just to mix it up anyway so I hope you enjoy this either way so we have three groups here we have group number one with the road knight group two with a blue lace agate and group number three with the mangano calcite so please choose your group now we have the first card is with balance and boundaries I'm going to show you that boundaries the second one is abundant and the third one is receive so if you'd like to choose your group now we will get started and yeah so please choose your group now if you would like to check out my crystal shop or my private reading rates then all that information will be down below so let's get started with your reading start for group number one with balance and boundaries and what your future self wants you to know an urgent message let's have a look and see what's going on so let's start let's get started with group number one with balance and boundaries also sorry if the audio is not as great uh, but i hope you enjoy it either way so let's get started with balance and boundaries Hello group number one, so you guys chose the beautiful Rhodonite crystal, if I can show you guys this one, beautiful Rhodonite. So let's get started with your pick a card, so I'm sorry if the lighting is weird or the audio is weird, we're just giving it a go, we're seeing how this goes today, and um, we're just going on a whim, so why not, okay, so, so today we're going to be doing what your future self wants you to know, so you guys got balance and boundaries, I really really love this, I think the fact that you have boundaries, balance makes so much sense to me because you guys are very much focusing on actually balancing your boundaries, like that's literally what you guys um, are needing to know right now, which is really, really beautiful. Right, hopefully that's a little bit clearer, hopefully you guys can see a little better. Okay, so we have balance and boundaries, so that's the main one that you guys got. So let's have a look and see what else we have. So the main card you guys got is balance oh my god that's so funny i love that so we have balance turquoise and forget me not balance cracking open deep healing balancing karma oh my god so the fact that you have boundaries is so amazing you have that twice that's really really good so we're going to get a couple of cards just to clarify this just to see um what's going on here just to clarify this balance card i'm going to try and keep that in focus i can so what's this balance all about what are we cracking open Oh, we have rest. We have fairies, orders, rest, replenish, and release guilt. So this is really, really interesting. So what this is kind of showing me is a lot of you guys have had a lot of guilt around how you feel about yourself and how things have been for you. And things have just felt very, very hard. You know, things haven't felt easy. They have felt really uncomfortable around actually having boundaries for yourself. You know, it's not been super, super easy. And it's really uncomfortable to kind of have boundaries because you've been kind of taught to not have them. You've been kind of taught to you know, put other people first and make sure it's all about everyone else. And that's something that you guys are really, really learning. So you may actually need to rest a lot at the moment. I feel like your guides and your future self is really saying to, to rest because you guys are going through so much that it's really, this is just like super, super important to put yourself first, okay? So we're gonna see what's kind of going on in the current energy and then we'll see what's going on kind of in the future of this. We'll see what's kind of happening around this and we'll see what's going on. 
Okay, so we have womb healing, sexual power and sovereignty. So this is really, really beautiful. So mainly what this is showing me is you guys are coming into your sexual power, okay? <clears throat> I was just saying that my throat chakra is doing something. So, so for you guys, it's really coming into that feminine energy, that sexual energy that you guys have been so badly craving. And what this is showing me also is you guys are coming into your... Yeah, just your feminine power. I'm gonna try and move this closer in a little bit. Okay, so I feel like that's fine. Okay, with the camera angle. Okay, so let me move this round. All right, so for you guys, I am picking up on a really strong feminine energy. Okay, I feel like that's kind of what you guys are mainly working on, is your feminine energy, and you're working on actually revealing what's truly there, revealing what people are actually showing to you, and not taking it personally, and really coming into your sovereign energy. And <coughs> I've got a lot of chest stuff going on in this group. This feels very like chest energy, very much to do with the heart chakra. So this is to do with you and how you feel about yourself and how you feel about other people. So I feel like the main thing for you guys is to really work on putting yourself first. That's the main thing what you're working on. And I feel like within the next three to five months, you're gonna see major, major changes. Can you see how this cup is like filling up this person? That's basically what you're learning to do. You're learning to fill up your cup through this process. And this is super important because these boundaries are coming up and I'm literally putting that on that balance card, which is amazing. These boundaries and balance is coming up to show you that you guys deserve to have boundaries. You deserve to have balance. And this is something that you haven't had in such a long time. Okay, and it's something that you may have, have now been just, just starting to teach yourself to have. Okay, so let's have a look at your future energy. We're gonna see what's coming up for you guys in the future, what your future self wants you to know in terms of how to deal with this. How is this going to play out? So I'm sorry you guys, you can't really see these cards, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Okay, so we have the Joker. So this is really, really interesting. <clears throat> so the Joker is showing up to say, basically looking at everything with a lighthearted energy, looking at everything as if you're just playing around. Um, and I feel like what it's showing you is that not every, this isn't actually a really serious situation. It may seem like it, but at the end of the day, you are protected. You have a lot of and an, you have a lot of angels and energy protecting you. You are safe. Okay. So we have this um, Ace of Wands as well, which is really, really lovely. This is revealing to you with a Joker that you are moving forward. You don't have to feel like this anymore. Let me see if I can put this up here so you can see them a little bit better. Hopefully, you can see them a bit better. I'll zoom you in as well so you guys can see. Okay. So let's get you a couple more cards here. All right, let's see. Lovely. So you're coming into love, which is so lovely. You're coming into a masculine energy who's gonna really um, love you for who you are, who's gonna treat you with a lot of respect, who's gonna make you feel like on top of the world. So basically what you're doing is you're balancing out your masculine and your feminine side. So what this is doing is it's giving you a lot more opportunity to be yourself. And I'm actually feeling for some of you guys, if you do want a masculine or a male person, like a, a partner, or even just a friend who's very, very, very supportive, who almost feels like a partner, but without the intimacy, uh, physical intimacy, is I do see somebody coming in for you. Um, and this is gonna come in once you have resolved this part of you that is being so hard on yourself, you know, because that's what you've been taught. You've been taught to really be very hard on yourself and make sure everyone is first and you're not first. And I just feel like everything's about balance for you guys at the moment. I feel like the number four is about balance too. Number four always represents to me this energy of um, concrete. So I always used to say when I used to, when I started doing my readings, I always used to quote a stable table. So when you feel like a stable table, that's a really really good um, energy. So when you feel like an unstable table, you can feel like just a mess because with a table, it takes four legs for it to be a table. You know, and obviously if it's three legs, normally it's like one, two, three, four on either end of the table. And if you feel uncomfortable and on edge, you will feel like an unstable table. It's like getting a table and taking one of the legs out and it's gonna fall over, it will. So what you're doing is you're basically bringing together all of these parts of you and it's, it's creating this new self. And yes, it will feel uncomfortable for a while. That is totally normal, but, it, but it's okay. It's okay to feel like that. It's okay to feel a bit uneasy. Um, I just, I wanna clarify this joke because I feel like that's something that 
is really popping up. So let's just clarify. Yep, so lots of change around the heart. Lots of change around your relationships. We've got the five of cups. So you've got a lot of changes around your connections and how they make you feel. Um, for the five, the five is all about letting go. So you are meant to um, let go of some people who are really stubborn and who are really uncomfortable. And what you're doing also, I, I'm getting such a good message for you guys, is I feel like this is about releasing a lot of karma to do with relationships and how they're treating you. So just because someone is demanding your energy, is demanding um, you, you know, is demanding something from you, it doesn't mean you have to give it to them. And this is something as an empath I'm really working with at the moment. It's kind of like when you get people that are, you know, very narcissistic, you get people that are... Um, you know, always demanding your attention. It doesn't mean you have to give it to them. If someone's demanding your attention, even so, even even more, you shouldn't give them their, your attention because if they're not respecting you and they're not respecting your energy and your time and your space, then you shouldn't give them your energy in the first place. So I feel like you're really learning to step foot into your own um, well-being and your own power. And this is something that you've been so desiring for such a long time. And the number six feels really good. I would say no more than three months until this starts to shift. Your future self is so proud of you. Like your future self is saying, oh my God, I know you've been through so much and you are doing such a good job. Like you are doing such a good job and you've been through so much and it's okay. Like it's okay that you're going through all of this stuff, but it's, it's just uncomfortable. It's meant to be uncomfortable because you're meant to go through it and you're meant to resolve a lot. So I'm just going to pull this round so you can see my can a little bit more because I like to set the scene okay so let's get a couple more cards let's see uh, the future of this situation or anything group of one can do to resolve this okay so the sun and the full moon so most likely I'm hearing in about five full moon time once five full moons have been um once we've gone through five full moons you would have uh, released this very strong energy around narcissism. And these people do not deserve your energy, honestly. Like, these people are sucking the life out of you. They are most likely energy vampires. They are taking away your energy whenever they want, and it's not good enough. And these people are children. They haven't, they haven't learned how to be adults. And unfortunately, they most likely will stay like that for the rest of their life. I'm hearing, will they improve? Will they improve? No, they won't. So this could be a partner, this could be an ex, this could be a family member, this could be a friend. It's somebody who you are now needing to come away from and travel away from as well. And just just completely, sorry, that's got a bit of um, shell on my, on my table. You're going to have to move away from them as much as possible. So what's this uh, journey card, number nine, here with the ninth house? This is the house of Sagittarius, beautiful. Aries, Uranus, perfect. Right, I see you moving away from them completely and getting stability. You're going from the stubborn Aries to the stubborn Taurus, but in a good way. You're going, you're going into this much more fruitful energy that feels, it just, it just feels wholesome. Aries energy, if it's imbalanced, it can feel very raw. It can feel almost like, like a hot fire that you can't touch. It feels like you're almost getting burnt. That's kind of how it feels with this card. Taurus, can you see how Taurus is completely filled with water? Um, it's a very calm energy. Um, this Aries feels very fiery. It feels really, really intense. So it feels like this is something that you are really letting go of and you're transmuting this uncomfortable narcissistic energy into something so fucking beautiful. And I'm hearing you didn't know stability until you started to get it. So you might not even know where you're going and you might not even know what stability is to you until you have it. If you've never had it before, if you've never felt stable in a home or you've never sta felt stable in your own body, then you will it will feel uncomfortable. But I do feel like something's gonna make you change with you, for you in the next three months with Uranus. Your future self, I just keep hearing, I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of you. Your future self is actually so happy you're going through this. And it sounds really weird to say, because if you're going through such an uncomfortable time, it's like, why would that be a good thing? But it's actually something that you'll need to go through for your soul's evolution. And I'm hearing you won't know what you've got on the other side until you actually get there. Um, there's gonna be a lot of temptations that people are gonna throw at you around things like um, going back to your family uh, patterns, going into your anger, and anger isn't a bad thing by the way, but it's the way you work with it. Um, but I feel like what this is telling me is it's like, don't do things for the short term, really try and stick to what feels good emotionally for you. If something feels raw and uncomfortable, it's most likely not the right thing for you. And I feel that this is also to do with your sexual energy. The fact that I placed that right on this card about your sexual energy is showing me that 
you may feel the need to kind of um, go towards people and be and interact with people who aren't good for you to distract yourself from what you're saying if it's not worth it. It's, it may taste sweet for like two seconds and afterwards it's going to feel crap. And I have a really good message for you guys. Oh my God, this is so good. So can you see here how we have this card here of rest? And then it says, it says replenish and release guilt. Once you release a lot of guilt from your family tree, you're going to create commitment. You're going to actually get a lot of relationships that are fucking committing because these people have also done the work and they can see your worth. These people who you've been, who you've been around, they can't see your worth. This is definitely to do with your relationships. This feels like a relationship reading. Um, relationships can be anything, by the way, however this resonates for you. Um, but this cracking open, oh God, you have been cracking open. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys um, have been getting like a wheezy chest, have been getting chest infections. Um, have been getting cold that's directly gone to your chest because it will move through this is just your body trying to uh, body healing your um chest area but look at that once you've balanced this karma because basically what you need to do is you need to crack open otherwise you can't get to this it's kind of like an egg you can't get in it unless you crack it open <laughs> you know it's like oh i so badly want to get in this, into this egg but i feel guilty about cracking it open and breaking it and it's like girl you need to crack that shit open because what's inside is what you need so if you don't crack yourself open and do something different you will constantly be in this uncomfortable energy and trust me what's on the other side of it is so much more comfortable than where you are now and can you see how we have fruit so it's gone we've gone from the apple to the grape so the apple to me here feels like it's very temporary it's just one the abundance with the grapes you've got a shit ton of grapes there you've got so many you've got so many to choose from so with this when you feel a lot more comfortable and you feel you're able to balance you're just gonna you're gonna get there and i feel like it's like lighting a match you just gotta do it i'm hearing it's like lighting a match it's like ripping off a band-aid you just gotta go for it so whatever that is for you you it may be different for all of you guys it's gonna well, it is gonna be different for all of you um it's gonna feel different it's gonna be different but um, this isn't going to last forever and it's okay, to, it's okay to not know exactly where you're going right now. Okay, so let's get you another card. Let's see what else Grid number one needs to know for their future self, please. I keep hearing, I keep feeling your future self tapping me on the shoulder and just trying to get my attention. It's almost like they're trying to get me back in, in my body. So for you guys, you need to get into your body, do some tapping um, if you feel drawn to do that tai chi running dancing one thing i really like to do is i like to rub my back so i like to get my hand and rub my back because I, that soothes me so if somebody else rubs my back or i do it, it doesn't really matter it's the same feeling um so rubbing my back is a really really nice way of, of um, healing and feeling much more comfortable so we have the mystic so basically this is your journey and i'm, I'm hearing of course you're going for a lot of stuff because you are a mystic you're somebody who's meant to see things that other people can't fucking see. Is that uncomfortable? Hell yes. Are you at your comfort zone? Yes, you are. But when you come out of this uncomfortable energy, you're going to blossom and your life is going to feel so different. Okay, you cannot avoid this. This has basically been in the works for about 20 years for some of you guys. This has been in the works for about, yeah, I'm feeling 20 years, exactly 20 years. Um, so you couldn't avoid this if you tried. It might, it will look different for every every single one of you. But I keep seeing it's about home, it's about family, it's about how the way you were treated, and you have to be in this uncomfortable energy to get commitment because you have to see yourself authentically. Otherwise, nobody else can. That's what you're going to gain is the nectar, which is so beautiful. This is so lovely. I love this. So I'm going to zoom you out so you can you guys can see these cards a little bit okay so before we end this reading today um i want to pull one more tarot card and then i'm going to read you some advice and let's see what else wants to come through anything else oh hello that came through really strongly okay so the number three oh i love this you're actually if some of you guys are waiting for work you're going to get about three job offers coming up we have this three of pentacles that is so cute actually they're saying pull one for each card okay so the three of pentacles with a mystic so if you guys are wanting to do a mystical spiritual type career whether it be holistic whether it be a spiritual religious whatever it is um if it's for your highest good you feel good about it go for it because you're going to gain a lot of money from it especially in the next three years number six with the underworld this feels to me like it's to do with all your aspects of you coming together in one um part of you and what's really interesting is i'm feeling this um really strong message around feminine energy and how 
um, your feminine side has been very suppressed. Um, with feminine energy, it has been very suppressed in the world, just in general. Um, we've basically been told that we can't do things a certain way, it's wrong, yada, yada, yada. So basically, you're coming away from that and it will feel uncomfortable because you feel like you're, you're going from the good girl to the bad girl persona. And if you're, if you're a guy, it's exactly the same thing. Good boy, bad boy persona. Um, what you're basically doing is you're setting boundaries and you're putting yourself first. You deserve to get respect and if you've not been treated with respect you won't know how to get it you won't know how to receive it so for you it will take a bit of time but trust me you're doing such a good job it's meant to be messy don't be afraid to let things be messy for a while okay you're meant to be messy it's not meant to be perfect look at that fucking gorgeous you are attracting some really nice relationships through putting yourself first and making sure that you're being seen for this authentic person. This is somebody who sees themselves as um, behind the driver's seat. They're not letting anyone else drive that car. They're putting themselves first, which is so beautiful. And I love that so much for you guys. That's amazing. Okay, I'm also hearing cleansing and clearing, which is something a lot of you guys are definitely going through. Okay, so I'm gonna pull a card from the Cosmic Creatures deck. I'm gonna get a message, it's going to shuffle, I'm getting on number two, oh 95, okay, so we have the praying mantis card, okay, so I'm going to read this to you guys, so it says stillness, patience and strategy, the praying mantis waits patiently among the blades of grass looking for the right time to strike and make its move, the praying mantis teaches you to be still, to expand the possibilities encapsulated in the moment in the moment in front of you. The praying mantis strategy is to plan ahead, looking at all the possible ways to get to its desired outcome. There is no linear path, but there are multiple doorways to walk through. The praying man, I'm gonna read that again. There is no linear path, but there are multiple doorways to walk through. The praying mantis asks you to release the how and connect to the why of your desires. Think about the ecosystem and everyone who is affected by your actions. The smallest ripple can create a big wave with your decisions having more impact on others than you may realize. In this stillness, you can connect to the power within and attract the right cosmic energies to help you on your quest. When you release control, the universe grants you many gifts. So that is your reading. I will just do one more little dice and see what else group number one needs to know. <clears throat> Okay, I feel like I need to reshuffle, but we, we're not going to reshuffle. So we have Scorpio. We have uh, Pluto. I want to say it was this Uranus. I get confused, but I'm going to say this is Uranus. or Pluto. No, I'm going to say this is Pluto. And then we have the fourth house. Wow. So basically, you're going through a transformation with your home. And I feel like you're coming out of it feeling like you know exactly what you want. This is going to feel clunky for about three months. But trust me, I feel like it's going to... There's something that's going to really shift. Full moons are going to be really big for you. Lovely. Cancer, we have Venus, and we have the sixth house. So you're most likely going to meet someone who you could essentially move in with, um, somebody who's going to help you get a job, somebody who's going to help you to release a lot of emotional stagnancy. <clears throat> could be a therapist, could be a friend. Um, this feels like you're coming into more authentic relationships, so just be prepared. It's going to be great, guys. You're, going to do, you're doing an amazing job, and I'll speak to you very soon. I hope that resonated. Have a great day, my lovelies, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys got the beautiful Blue Lace Agate. I love her. She is stunning. She is so pretty. So she's all about the throat chakra. She is very, very good for helping you with those blockages um, in the throat and things like that. Okay, so I'll put her over there. All right, so you guys have the card of abundance. So I'm going to put these cards at the back just so you guys can see. So we have abundant and then we have green epidote and star jasmine. This says restructure, identifying, reframing and enhancing. Okay, I'm going to put her there. I'm going to get some more, some more cards, okay? So what I feel like for you guys is your identity is very much about how much you can gain. I mean, as a human being, that kind of is how we're trained is, you know, what, what sort of job do you have? You know, what car are you driving? How many relationships do you have with people? Do you have a partner? Do you not have a partner? It's all about kind of attaining things that are physical. So for you guys, especially, you've had a lot of, kind of uh what's the word you've had a lot of 
manipulation around attracting things. A lot of you guys have had a lot of stress around, you know, being perfect, having this perfectionism and things like that. I feel like a lot of you guys have tried to, I'm hearing I've tried to grow in a place I can't grow and been shamed for it. And what I'm feeling is it's like, you can't grow in a place that you were abused in, you know? So what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys is you're being pushed to reframe and identify away from family patterns and things like that. Your future self is so comfortable with this situation Situation, even though it feels really uncomfortable and just kind of off basically your future self is saying you have absolutely nothing to worry about basically this is just a process of you um, needing to create things in a different way and I'm picking up for you guys that um, I'm picking up this contrast between doing like a nine to five job versus going out in nature and doing some gardening like I feel like you're being pushed to go out in nature do some gardening and do something where you're putting your feet in the earth. This doesn't actually have to be literally doing that, but what I'm seeing is you're being pushed into your roots. You're being pushed to go back to your roots and you're being pushed to do things differently. So say if you have always applied for jobs online, how about kind of asking the universe to help provide it for you and let it come to you? Or maybe putting your CVs in physically or asking you around. There's a different way of attracting stuff and I feel like you guys are gonna figure that out. Um, I feel like within the next couple of months, this will sort itself out. This will at least feel a little bit easier. Um, I'm also picking up for some of you guys, if you are engaged or if you are looking to get married at some point, then with this um, kind of, uh, I think this is a star jasmine um, flower here, this is showing me that this could be what you wear on your wedding day. So there's gonna be a lot of green and a lot of white on your wedding day, that's gonna be your kind of theme for your um, wedding. And I feel like you're going to be wearing um, a flower crown like this with little white flowers in it, which is so cute. Okay, so I'm picking up a lot of you guys. Um, some of you guys are struggling with a relationship right now. Some of you guys are with somebody who you're just not sure if you can um, stay with them anymore. There might be a sense of like fear financially tied to them. Um, this will sort itself out. It will. It is uncomfortable, yes, but you're having to see the reality to what things are and what is that person providing you with. That's basically what you're being asked to look at. Um, I just keep hearing this thing about being perfect and having to provide for everyone being the main provider. So um, yes, it is uncomfortable, but it's it's basically you're reframing. So sometimes when you reframe stuff, it's kind of like when you put something on the wall, sometimes you have to like adjust it a little bit to kind of get it to feel comfortable and look symmetrical, but you're not meant to have it perfectly on the wall, perfectly aligned. It's meant to be a little bit um, off. It's meant to be a little bit skewed. Okay, so we have the diamond ray, diamond light body, high frequency activations and planetary grid work. Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> Let me get one more. Okay, so this is basically what you're aiming for here. They said this is the future. So a lot of you guys feel very different. You are most likely a star seed or an empath. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're a star seed. Um, because you just feel very different and that's okay. You're meant to feel different. You're meant to be somebody who has a lot of information. You're meant to share that information. Um, so yeah, I feel like your, your future self is trying to get you to live life more freely and delicately in a way where you're doing it in a more feminine way. You're not pushing yourself and shoving yourself to live life perfectly. I feel that's basically what your guides and your future self is saying. Like I'm hearing I lived so much more freely when I stopped waiting for something to change and I started to just adjust to what was going on and I started to really be in the moment rather than trying to make everything happen at a certain timings. You are not in charge of that and it will make you feel um, uncomfortable because you can't control that. And if you've been kind of trained to you know, feel like you are in charge of it, then you will feel uncomfortable. Um, if you've been in, if you've been trained to basically um, <clears throat> be responsible for things that you're not actually responsible for, you will feel this sense of loss. But there is this big, big change happening for you guys. And we have this lilac spirit quartz coming through. I'm gonna move this little thing here. We have lilac spirit quartz coming through with community. That's basically what you're aiming for. That feels really good actually. It says healing, division, teamwork and freedom. And then we have not all wonders are lost. Clearing the way, luck and opportunity. Your future self is saying everything is as it should be. And I'm seeing this girl, obviously it doesn't matter about your gender, but that's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. 
um this young girl she's surrounded by loads of friends and she's really happy and i think that's something that you guys really want at the moment and it feels like you are you're basically needing to clear the way of how you see yourself basically not being so hard on yourself and realizing that you actually have everything sorted it just feels really uncomfortable and messy right now which that's okay you know it's okay for things to feel messy okay so i zoomed you in a little bit more hopefully that looks looks more zoomed in but <laughs> okay just going on a whim today okay so what i definitely feel is this massive sense of perfectionism going on oh what's this card oh so this is some. this is actually what group number one got this is garnet and ladies mantle womb healing this is something you guys are very much working with this is to do your sexual power and being seen a lot of people are really working with this right now i actually feel like this is like a collective um energy because a lot of like pretty much everyone's going through that type of energy right now okay so let's see what else you guys have got going on let's have a look and see about the future of this situation i feel like the main mainly the future is community uh, i'm hearing finding people in unlikely places and it kind of reminds me of those mushrooms we have in this card here like here we have these mushrooms coming up you don't normally plant mushrooms to kind of be grown unless you plant them you know i don't know if you have mushroom seeds i've no idea how mushrooms work i wish i did but Basically, mushrooms don't always uh, grow in a place you expect them to. That's basically what you are. You're being the mushroom right now. You're being this kind of um, unexpected... Uh, basically, you are the key to this next opportunity. Like, this is your opportunity that's coming through. And it feels very lucky. It actually feels very, very lucky. You might not feel like it right now, but basically, you are needing to clear out the way for a lot of, a lot of people. You're, you're clearing people out of your life basically and you're clearing out the situations which is great because what it's doing is it's getting you comfortable and figure out what the fuck you want not just what other people want and i'm picking up it to do with gardening and keep getting gardening for this group and it's kind of like you get to decide what flowers you plant and yes there may be weeds but you you get to choose what weeds you keep in that garden obviously i i believe weeds are extremely magical like a lot of weeds are actually not weeds they're actually meant to be used but we're not taught how to use them so we call them weeds like nettles nettles are actually very very healing um but yeah so anyway i'm gonna go on a rant about uh plants but basically what i'm feeling is we have so many messages here like with weeds is they're so misunderstood like they're basically taught like we've talked like oh get rid of them you know they're not useful we need to get them out it's like actually those weeds have a purpose everything has a purpose on this earth we've just been taught that we have to be so fucking selective about it like everything has to have its certain purpose it's like what if it has a different purpose have you ever thought of that you know that type of thing so what i'm feeling is what i'm what i'm hearing is mainly is selecting who you choose what you choose to be in your garden so choosing what you want to have in your surroundings in your environment and also you have to wait for those things to grow if you've just planted something you have to wait for it to grow so say your journey right now is clearing everything out okay first of all you're in this process of clearing everything out okay so that's why things are taking a while to come up because it's a process like you are letting go of a lot of old stuff you can't attract any new things from an old place okay it's kind of like trying to get trying to be, rebuild a house on top of an old shackled building it's like you have to get rid of that old building first but you have to let go of it you have to let go of that what stood there before okay all right i really feel like it's to do with you also receiving things i feel like a lot of you guys have been taught that receiving things is bad receiving things is also very wrong that's kind of been something you've been taught um like you don't deserve to receive anything but this is actually a really deep message that you deserve everything that you really really do and there's nothing that you can't achieve okay so i'm going to bring you guys in just so you can see these cards a little bit better so the first one we have is the nine of cups this is beautiful this is like you are so close to getting what you really want it's just taking a sweet sweet time some of you guys are self-employed and you're trying to get a creative um kind of uh project out there yes it will take its time but you actually will be very successful because you have three nines that doesn't normally happen in a reading okay um a 999 in england is an emergency number is what you call to get the ambulance or the police out so that shows to me that something's happening extremely quickly like it's going to be very slow for a while and then boom it's going to happen it's going to get it's going to get to you then we have the number 10 that is amazing like i shuffled these cards you have 999 and then 10 it's like you are so close you are so close you are so close boom it's come to you there you go it's kind of like with um scientists or people who invent something new most people 
or you know whatever they be pe these things maybe these people around them are basically naysayers and they say oh you shouldn't be doing that that's not true that's not right but actually they end up being true and they end up this invention actually ends up working that's kind of you're that sort of person you're meant to be different um yes you're most likely your journey is being okay with being different that's basically what you're learning to do all right and then we have the number seven which is relationships i feel very strongly um i see the number seven can you see how with the number nine there's obviously it's more cluttered in that card and then we have the number seven where there's more space basically you're feeling crammed in right now um and you're meant to feel like that you're meant to feel crammed in you're meant to feel just very uncomfortable um which i can't really sugarcoat it, it is uncomfortable but it, it feels like something's really really shifting what's the main like subject of this reading i feel like it's to do with respect like gaining respect and um releasing a lot of um guilt around receiving okay so we have the waning gibbous moon let's see what else we have here waning crescent moon something's being replaced can you see how it's like nearly a full moon and then it like comes to them being a new moon with just a tiny little slither this slither is is coming from this old self basically your need to release an old cycle to start something new which is what that's basically what i'm feeling so that's why everything's taking its time because it's energetic it's not physical um but it will soon be physical because you are gaining stability and you're getting the home that you want you're getting the surroundings that you want um i feel like it's actually being able to choose what you want you've had so many times where you've had to let other people choose for you um that it's it's been a long time coming you know you actually you are allowed to choose what you want you're allowed to choose something that's for you you know okay let's see what else future self wants you to new lovely that's why i got so much about gardening because we've got the seed that's really interesting so the seed is a really really big message this is about starting something brand new and it's basically giving yourself a lot of love because with seeds like babies you will give them a lot of love because they're learning to basically live and how to live and how to work their body you can't just be angry at a baby it doesn't know any it doesn't it's only learning so you've got to get comfortable with being really kind to your inner self and creating new things i actually feel like you're going to get a chance to have more space to create so it might be that you manifest an art studio you manifest a yoga studio you manifest someone to do your work um you manifest some new equipment to do the creative pursuit that you want to do um you manifest people that you can be creative with you might manifest a partner who you can be intimate physically with because that's to do with creativity as well um i just feel like you're slowly discovering how to get your needs met which is taking its time but it's actually meant to happen okay you are gonna you're learning through contrast so it will be uncomfortable um but you are the shaman you are somebody who's meant to lead and guide people um your health will also your the way your body um uh, basically transmutes uh, what's the word uh fats and protein is going to change as well so you might need to up your protein in your diet okay um, i'm hearing omega-3 i'm not a doctor but i just feel like you need more fats in your diet because you're doing a lot of work uh, energetically and it's burning you out i'm picking up like avocados this looks like an avocado <laughs> okay there we go lovely this is what green one got as well abundance generosity giving and variety you're actually going to get variety whereas before you just had one singular thing i feel like it's to do with getting a new job as well whereas before you were kind of been told what to do um now you're giving yourself a break by doing something you actually really want to do for yourself okay so i'm going to read from the cosmic creatures deck book i'm going to see what number you have the dragonfly this is your card okay so it says evolution adaption and growth when the dragonfly flies into your life, you're being asked to adapt to the circumstances at hand. Change is coming, whether you like it or not, and how you react will be a test of your character. The dragonfly aids you in upholding your integrity, perseverance and flexibility, testing your faith in the process. The dragonfly appears to remind you of your higher power, that even though you are being thrown into the hands of fate, you have everything at your disposal to handle whatever comes your way. The dragonfly can change direction with ease, creating flight patterns that often appear effortless. Once you get the hang of these cycles, you too will be generating your own flight patterns and will be able to navigate these curveballs with ease. 
The dragonfly invites you to look at the silver lining. Ask yourself, why is this showing up for me? And what can I learn from it? Only then will you grow. And I also just feel like you need to have more rest days. So where you be like binging out on, you know, YouTube and taking on a lot of information, I feel like you just got to give yourself a lot of quiet right now um, because your brain is going to be like really overwhelmed. Okay, so that is your reading. Um, rates and crystal shot up below. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Have a great day, my lovely, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So I got the song No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. That is your song of the day. So um, yeah, that is your song. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can see these cards a bit better. All right. So you guys chose the Mangano Calcite. I love her. She's so delicate. Um, she's always got a really delicate energy to her. I have um, had, I don't know if I've got them on my shop anymore, but I had some Mangano Calcite spheres. Oh, they were so pretty. They had such like a light, delicate, feathery energy. Okay, so you guys have Receive. You guys are definitely going through a process of working with your energy. Um, you're kind of being forced to work with your empathy, like your, sorry, sensitivity, work with your sensitivity, but also empathy, okay. Psychic gifts, that makes a lot of sense. So you're being asked to work with your psychic gifts. You're being asked to make sure that you are always working with your intuition. Labradorite is such a good crystal to work with, especially if you wanna work with your intuition. So that's really, really good. I feel like you guys are the youngest of the groups. I feel like you're very young or you have a young soul. I feel like you always resonate with children. I think you're really good with kids and I think you always resonate with animals as well. You're very, you're a very gentle soul, which is what I'm kind of picking up. You don't, you would never hurt a fly crystal dragon that's so cute okay so the crystal dragon which says new healing modalities rainbow ray solfeggio frequencies this card hardly ever comes out so you guys are very special okay let's get another one <coughs> amandalite and lemon balm integrating energies i mean that makes so much freaking sense because you guys are definitely going for a lot lemon is kind of your thing lemon and mint is definitely um something that you're working with right now um sorry if the audio is all over the place by the way i'm trying to stay in one place but then when i shuffle cards i kind of forget that i've got to stay in one place because the audio is going to be all over the place otherwise okay so let's get you another card let's see what else we have oh my god you guys are definitely going for a rebirth um a lot of you guys are going to attract a career that is really suited for your energy. Some of you guys are reflectors in human design. You take on a lot of energy. Um, that's why you've got to create a safe space for yourself right now as much as possible. Wherever that is, it doesn't actually have to be at home. Obviously, depending on if you can be at home or not. Um, so you guys definitely are going through the void right now. We've got a lot of um, emptying of the ego. Um, a lot of you guys need a lot of support. Don't be afraid to reach out for support. Your, your future self is saying, I wish I had the support. I wish I reached out for support. Um, there's a need for you to not put so much perfectionism onto this situation. Um, and also I feel like a lot of you guys are really hard on yourself because you can't connect to that psychic side of you. Just to give you some perspective, like I've always been intuitive, but when I first started doing readings, I did, I started meditating a year before I did, I started doing readings, which is obviously meant to be. Meditation will open you up, girl. Like honestly, it will open you up. So if you've never tried meditation, I actually was never to, like told what meditation was. I was like, what actually is it? And for me, as a practical lady, I need to get told things in a practical way sometimes. So for me, what I, how I would describe it, if you guys have never meditated, is it's basically observing the thoughts that are coming towards you. So say you've got a thought of, you're sitting down, you're relaxing, you have a thought of, I need to you know, pack my bag for tomorrow. You look at that thought, you observe it, and you look at it like it's far away from you, and you don't go into it. You don't think, oh my God, I have to panic, I have to do this, I have to do that. You look at it and you observe it, and that's what meditation is. And once you start getting used to all the thoughts that are coming in, your brain starts to calm down, it starts to quiet down. And I feel like it's for a lot of you guys, is a lot of people have mental health issues if they are very sensitive. Most people with, you know, I'm not a doctor, but what I've witnessed is people with ADHD, um, OCD, depression, bipolar, things like that, they are just very, very, very sensitive. And it's so ashamed, it's so shamed, you know, it's shamed in society. And actually, most people who have those things are fucking intelligent as fuck. Like they are so creative, so intelligent, they're meant to have that because they're so different. Like we're literally labeled with such 
like strong labels and it's like well actually what are we going to do about it you know because having those things is actually a fucking amazing quality because it shows your soul your body that you are meant to change this world like I feel like that's such a big message because a lot of you guys just feel so different and you feel like something is wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with you you've just been taught by society that you have to stick into a fucking label and it's not true trust me I've been there you know and I've never been physically labeled with things but girl the amount of mental health issues I've been through oof you could write a list. Okay, so let's have a look and see um, what else you're going for, what, what's coming towards you, what you're attracting from this. Beautiful. You are letting go of needing to be there for everyone and everything. Um, you are, I feel like you're, I keep hearing you're very young. You're very young. I feel like you might be in your teens for some of you guys. Um, so you will be going for a lot, especially if you're like 16, 17. Um, yeah, you will be going through a lot, but I feel like you, because you're so young as well, you're meant to really change the world. You are, you, you're going to, trust me. A lot of these young little babies that are being born, oh, I resonate so much with these little kids. So I'm so excited to have a baby at some point if it's meant to be, because honestly, this is such a weird thing to say on YouTube, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, cause I feel like you guys are like my little, um, like it's almost like a little private reading this group. Um, like with babies, I've always not, I've never really connected with children. Like I love children, I love animals and all that stuff, but I've never connected with babies until like since 20, since basically last year when all these new babies were being born. Oh my God, I resonated so much with this little baby that I met. Oh my God, this little baby was so beautiful. It had such a gorgeous energy. And that was the type of baby that I'm gonna have because it's gonna be one of those new little children who are so sensitive and so ready to wake this world up. Like, honestly, we have nothing to worry about, about this world being shaken up. Like, these kids are gonna sort us out. <laughs> they are gonna sort us out. They are gonna be the ones that really help us to move through. And I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be friends with one of these little babies. So you might end up having a friend who's like 20 years younger than you um in when you're a little bit older or obviously i don't know how old you are maybe in your 40s or 50s 60s but i feel like you're going to end up having a friend who's like 20 30 years younger than you um and they're going to be one of your best friends i feel um i just feel like you're meant to be doing things differently you're meant to lead but not lead in a way that you know is a leader um not like a president or anything like that you're meant but actually people who aren't the president who are like people who do the work actually make i feel generally authentically make more um change than actually what the president does from what i'm picking up intuitively like people who do the dirty work they do more work than the president does from what intuitively i'm saying okay i'm not trying to get political but what i'm feeling is those people who are more on the private side who are in the background they're doing a lot more work than what the people are in the forefront okay you are one of those people who are going to make a lot of change but you don't actually need the validation but you are going to get it Okay, so I feel like from your future self is saying, I know you want to be famous or I know you want to get recogni recognition from whether it be a parent, whether it be um, just people in general, that is what you're going to get. My stomach is really hurting in this group. I feel like it's my solar plexus is whacking out. Like it's not the word whacking out, it's, that's what I just said. It came from my intuit intuition. Um, my solar plexus is really like doing something. Okay, so we have the card of commitment. I'm going to move you into these cards a little bit so you can see them better. So we have commitments. So that one was really popping out to me. The fact we got that first of all is actually amazing. So what you're being asked to do is devote yourself to what feels right for you because you're going to create a lot of really lovely relationships that are going to help you to grow. Um, these people are going to be... I feel like both genders, they're not going to be the, um, just one gender. Say you're a woman, they're not all going to be females. They're going to be male as well. Um, and if you're a male, they're going to be females. So I feel like you're going to get this group of people and you're going to create something in the future. Um, it could even be now. You could be starting a group. You could be, um, oh, wow. We have purge, cleanse, clear and release. Um, we have this sense of like major change going on. This is to do with you not being afraid of, of being a little bit messy. Um, don't, not being afraid of like basically doing things and not waiting for the validation yeah we have completion so i feel like this is going to be a year in progress of this happening for you guys this is literally i feel like it's gonna really really change within a year and that's obviously a long time but you want to learn a lot through this one year okay you are going to learn a lot um okay so let's get you a couple of tarot cards let's see what's coming towards you in the future um with group number three let's see what is group number three learning lovely so you guys are going to start most likely some sort of healing work it doesn't have to be something you're paid for but it can be it can be a um, job on the side or it can be a hobby i feel like you're going to be some sort of healer of some kind 
Um, even if you're a carer, you're a healer, you know, you're helping other people to be their best selves, you know, so it can come in many different guises. It doesn't have to be um, spiritual work. But what I see is you're going down a path that you really don't expect and you're going to meet some people that you don't expect and you're going to be very, very much loved for it. And I feel like basically I'm hearing I'm not loved, but it's I'm hearing it's because of the people you are surrounded by. They don't appreciate you as much as you need. You actually deserve to be appreciated. Um, let's see. There we go. So basically at this moment, anytime you can pause and come into silence is amazing. Whether it be getting out of the house, getting out in nature, that is going to help you to connect with your intuition because you guys are the people that are meant to be guided by your intuition. You're not always meant to be guided by someone literally telling you what to do, which is ironic because this is a video of someone giving advice, but you know, just take it as it resonates, of course. Okay, lovely. So we have Virgo, Mercury, Virgo, Mercury, and the fifth house. You are meant to do something fun and healing. So you could do be like a dance healer, like a somatic dance healer where you like dance to help people heal. Um, I feel like, I'm, I don't know why I'm picking up on this, but I'm seeing like a hospice or a hospital with a, a, somebody bringing in a dog to help people heal from their what they're going through. You might even create a hospital that houses like animals and um obviously not that's not the main goal it's like you have people in this hospital but they work with animals to help them heal because animals are very very healing um you could maybe make your own type of hospital where you bring in more like holistic work you know this is really very very big this group like this feels like really um you guys are really going through some deep stuff but i feel like you're meant to be somebody who's meant to shake up the system so this is going to take a little bit of time but trust me you're going to be guided can you see how we have this um, triangle and it's um, upright and then it's like it's gone, it's up and then it's down? Um, this to me is showing me the different um, stages of what you're going to go through. It feels like to me as you might have things whipped away from you at one point, but then it's going to basically shift and you're going to feel like, why is everything happening to me in such an intense way? And it's because basically you are guided in a very, it's, it's in a way that you don't expect. But what I'm feeling, oh, also, another message, sorry, I'm getting so many messages. On another message, you'll, you might work with um, people who are pregnant, uh, you might work with children, and you might end up being around people who are, something to do with menstrual, menstrual cycle, something like that, um, or you may be working with your, just your feminine energy right now. But I just feel like you're meant to be different, so that I feel like is a massive omen for you. Um, I pick up on that snake being in a massive omen for you, not being afraid to be different. Um, not be afraid to be feared by people because sometimes when we're feared by people it's because we have a lot of light um, and we freak people out because they haven't seen their own light. So this is your main um, message for you guys. This is what you're basically uh, going for right now as the horse. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you as your last message. Um, I feel like also you are repairing a relationship to do with your mum is what I'm hearing or your dad or both. Okay, horse, passion, drive, and wildness. Oh, I'm also hearing if people disagree with you, that's actually a sign that you're on the right path. <laughs> okay, which I know is so confusing, but okay. So we have wild and free. The horse can represent our willpower and drive to go all the way. Passion propels you forward and keeps you focused. As long as you're connected to your purpose. The horse trucks along masterfully, navigating the road ahead as an extension of human consciousness. Take a look within and ask yourself, what is my driving force? What, what, what motivates me to keep going when times get tough? There's a passion that wants to be expressed by an energy within you that can only be tamed for so long. Channel this energy in healthy ways, focusing on productive outlets that can transport you further along your career path. The horse works tirelessly and is able to make massive progress, but only when it is also connected to its heart. Don't forget your heart's mission as you gallop towards your victory and share your desires with the will of your mind, body, and soul. So that is your reading, guys. Have a great day, my lovelies. My reading rates and crystal shop is down below, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.